Ooh, de Blasio, you got into some hot water, but I'm going to get you out because I'm the Messiah and I'm here to help and we're going to transform this darkness into a great deal of light. What happened? So de Blasio decided to say that they should round up the Jews. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm paraphrasing and I'm making a joke out of it, but basically there was a hundred Jewish people in the streets uh, because there was a rabbi, famous rabbi that had passed away. And so they were mourning and de Blasio was like, hey, Jewish people, what's wrong with you? In a tweet, <laughs> paraphrasing again, you can look all this stuff up. And the Jewish community was like, oh, hell no, you don't go out and say stuff like that about all the Jewish people when there was only a hundred people that were out in the street and we're not even going to talk about the subways and what's going down there with the homeless people. So de Blasio, what's up? What's up, huh? You want to call it the Jewish people, but not the homeless situation that you're in charge of in the subway? Okay. <laughs> but what's happening? It's mm, the devil is at play. So what the devil does is the devil creates an opposition. It tells each side going, that side sucks. That side's a horrible side. And therefore creating division. And the answer actually relies in both sides coming together. Because that's how the universe works, through love. So what de Blasio needs to do is reach out to the Jewish community and be like, how are you guys taking care of the whole COVID thing? How are you, you know, reach out to rabbis on YouTube and have the communication with various religious and spiritual leaders within the religious community and also perhaps dive into the power of prayer, the power of mind over matter, ooh, and healing through magical means and the light of the creator and Kabbalah and what the new world ushers in and the book of Revelation and learning from the Jews and all that great wonderful stuff that is going to keep us alive, thriving, and moving into heaven if we make the right decisions. So, de Blasio, you have a great, wonderful opportunity right here, placed right in front of you. And so does the Jewish community to be able to reach out to de Blasio and de Blasio to reach out to them and to come together for the sake of all New Yorkers and perhaps maybe the world and what that resonates into everywhere around the world. So it's about coming together. Let's not blame de, Bal de Blasio. <laughs> de Blasio. <laughs> the ball's in your court, de Blasio. And so you've got to make that gameplay. <laughs> And the gameplay is love. I wish you all a wonderful, wonderful eternity. And send de Blasio and the Jewish community, because the Jewish community is a great integral element in our salvation. <laughs> if you have not read the book of Revelations, check it out. <laughs> and then dive deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper for more and more and more. I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful eternity.